Hello everybody, Chris here from DeBizzle Cars, and today I've got something very special. You've probably seen one or two of these on the road, you've probably seen a few dozen, a few hundred, a few thousand of them. What I have for you today is the Nissan Patrol. But why is it so popular? Before we talk about the car's popularity, let's look at the car from the outside. From the outside, it's a very good looking car, and I could see why people would choose to buy this. Up front, we have this bold grille with these chrome strips that go along the front here. It also has the V-Motion grille, but actually for the newer version that's coming out next year, the grille has been changed ever so slightly because these chrome stripes have gone and in their place, the black bits here actually have the chrome instead. So on either side of the grille, we have these LED headlights here. They're bright, they illuminate the road up ahead, and of course they are somewhat adaptive. Great for when you're driving to Ras al to Abu Dhabi, quickly. So as we make our way towards the rear end of the car, when we look at the side, there aren't really a lot of lines to really look at here, except for the belt line that's, that sits up quite high up here, just above the door handles, which gives the car a little bit of character. Now that we've made our way to the back, of course, we'll find out what's behind this. Well, you probably guessed it already. It is, of course, the boot. And as always, there are multiple ways to open it. Inside, via the button here, or via the key fob. I don't particularly want to do this one, so I'm going to show you how it works on the key fob. I press and hold, and up it goes. You can see here, plenty of space. We've got the toolkit here, and it is fully automatic as well. The Patrol comes with two engines. There's the V6, and then there's a V8. Underneath the bonnet of this one is the V8. It has a 5.6 litre displacement, and for once I'm actually glad that the engine bay is warm, because at the time of filming, it's just 15 degrees centigrade. Here's the engine, and it generates 400 horsepower, and it sends said horsepower to all four wheels via a seven-speed automatic gearbox. So we're inside the Patrol now, and you can see the sheer amount of space and the options that this car comes with, which adds, of course, to its popularity. Let's check out some features. Up front, we have a semi-digital dashboard, which has the digital gauge in the middle with the two traditional analog ones. Then we have a very busy steering wheel here with plenty of features and bits of leather to give it that premium feel. The center console though is something that I really want to show you because now we have two screens, one at the top and one at the bottom. They are both touchscreen, so we've got the map open here at the moment. You see we zoom all the way out and see the entire world. We can also get a good view of our backup camera and the cameras on either side of the car, which makes parking a breeze. The second of the two dials is probably the most important dial in the car because this is your off-road drive selector. You've got four modes, on-road, which we're in right now. We've got sand, rock, and snow for when it snows and Chevrolet Jays. The three buttons around it, though, are also interesting as well for the diff lock, the traction control, and the hill descent. You'll need this when going through the waddies. In terms of pricing, the Nissan Patrol with a V6 starts at 199,900 dirhams. However, if you want the fully loaded V8 version that we have here, this will set you back 329,000 to 330,000. Now that sounds like a lot of money and I agree with you, yes it is. However, with this, you get a lot of amazing features. You get a comfortable interior, a smooth V8 engine, and a very handsome looking car that will last you quite some time. Nissan are known for their reliability and this is no exception. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'm off to explore the beauty of the desert that's surrounding us.